This is Grimlight Images channel. We'd start with an unboxing of a, a Loom Cube professional lighting kit. Stuff like that I love to create and use and control light. They are a fantastic add-on to a Nikon strobe flash kit that I have. So you know these allow you to lose Bluetooth control, you can turn the power up from 0 to 100. They also can use with slave flash with a lighting flash, you can use it as a replacement flash for your mobile phone. You use the Loom X app which works on Android and also iOS. Um, again, gives you full control of the power levels, strobe, it makes it a lot easier than having to use the buttons on the Loom Cube itself. So what I want to do is just go through the unboxing with you. I just want to show you some of the items that you get. Um, hopefully you find this of interest. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. I can't grow this channel without your support. So you guys supporting me uh, would be fantastic. Also, I'll leave links in the video below. Any comments, questions you've got, feel free to ask. This is the kit in question. As you can see, the Loom Crow, it comes in a padded cell. All the gears cut out, everything's protected. It works really, really well. So just going through what you get. We get, obviously, the Loom Cube itself, as you can see. Really small, really compact, um, a fantastic light. It's got a Fresnel lens on there. It's also got a screw thread on the back, which is waterproof down to, I think it's 100 meters. Um, you've got quarter inch thread for a tripod mount. On the top here, you've got two buttons. You've got the left one, which you just tap and hold up, press in, and it turns the light on, as you can see, on the lower setting. The more you press it, the brighter it gets. You've got 10 brightness levels, and then you just hold it in, and it turns it off. The right button is for slave mode. It's got a little sensor on the front of the lens here. That puts it on slave mode. You get like a little flash of it now and again. If you see the light flash or go off, it will trigger it like a slave. Works again fantastically well. You've got a mount here that goes round the front of the actual lens. This is like magnetic. All the attachments I go through will attach this um, using that mag magnetic system, if you will. That's how everything attaches to the actual light itself. So you get two of these in the kit. Alongside that, you also get two of these barn doors. Um, if you're familiar with photography, you'll know what a band door is, where again, it just allows you to connect on. You've got the doors there where you can aim and control the light, and it allows you to manipulate the light in regards to exactly where you want it to be. And again, like I said before, everything just magnetizes straight on, just like that. Attached to the light, as you can see, it works, you know, fantastically well. And yeah, it's a great way of modifying the light and just controlling that light in regards to where you want it to go. So, that's your band doors. Alongside that, you also get two of these soft diffusers. These allow you to soften the light, give you a much more natural light. You get a lot of much softer fall off towards the edge of the light. And again, these work fantastically when you get two of these, one for each light. So it just takes that harshness away that you can get with LED lighting sometimes. Also alongside that, you will get two snoots. Again, snoots are used for controlling light on a very small footprint if you will or a very small circle these are great like for if the back of a, a photo suit shoot and you want like a catch light on the head or the air again these are fantastic for that again just using for control light if you're doing jewelry shot or product shot or something like that and you just want to be able to control the lighting on a, a certain part of what it is you're photographing a video on these again are fantastic little add-ons and again this you know this is replicating a much bigger studio lights which costs a lot more money um, and you've got to buy a lot more accessories and you can spend tens of thousands on a kit. This is a great way of replicating that on a much smaller budget. So alongside that as well, you also get several of these CTO gels. CTO gels, these lights are daylight balanced so you get a natural daylight on these. It'll allow you to modify that and get that warmer glow that you'll get from natural sunlight which is like a slightly yellow or slightly orangey type of glow. So these will allow you to warm up that lighting depending on the circumstances that you have and these come in a two, a four, a six and an eight plus effect so they they get stronger as you put these on and again you can stack these the magnetic as you can see they stick together and they work fantastically well alongside that you will also get several diffuser grids you get two um, you'll get a, a fine grid and a less fine grid. Again, when you're shooting a light onto a background or onto a subject, 
softly diffused the light itself so you get that soft edge around rather than like a quite a harsh light as though it's coming off, off, a, off a sharp object if you will it just gives, gives you a much softer light softer shadow you also get several gels um, as well you get a yellow gel you'll also get green you'll also get blue and you'll also get red and again these can be stacked up with being the primary colors to create additional colors and they go on top of each other with them being magnetic everything can be stacked up to create different effects depending on what it is you want to create um, and then that's pretty much everything that you get in the kit um, they take about two and a half about two and a half hours to, to charge uh, on top of that you get if it's on 100 percent power you'll get around about half an hour to 40 minutes use if you're having it on about 50 percent power you'll get well over two and a half to three hours use which is more than enough for a video shoot or if you're using continuous lighting to photograph products or whatever it might be these are more than enough in regards to that so they work fantastically well um, other than that I hope you found this video of interest I hope you've learned something from this I'll leave links below as I've said I'll leave links to the Loom Cube site and stuff like that as well um, this is my first video so hopefully you guys will start supporting the channel start following me I'll do additional content I've got some projects coming up in the future as well where I'll be using these lights how these are set up and how I use these lights to create lighting on different projects depending on what obviously what I've got coming up there so again you'll find that really of interest and you guys will learn from that as well